guys welcome to my channel if this is your first time on this channel welcome and if it is not thank you for keeping me in business guys i'm really grateful okay so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how i make this how i made this figure zero cake so i had like a sheet cake and cut it into two so it was supposed to be a number 30 birthday cake so what i did was make a sheet cake that was really big and then slice it into two so now i made like a template out of cardboard of zero like the shape i wanted the zero to be and the size so i made the size as big as the size of my cake because i don't like to waste cake i like when my customers pay for a cake and they get as much cake as possible even though i have to carve some away like carve away some cake out of it i don't like to carve out too much so today i'm going to show you guys how i made this number zero cake okay so the first thing i did was to put the template on top and then trace the template with um a small sharp knife the smaller the knife the more precise she can be okay so i traced that out and then when i was done i'm going to remove the excess and then we are going to start decorating okay so another way to make this cake is do you see that um round circle in the middle okay so i was referring to the round circle that's supposed to be in the middle of the zero so it can like form a zero with a hole in the middle yes so if you want you can do that you can trace out the middle as well okay so what i'm just doing right now here is patching the cake so it won't be too like the the bottom of it that has like a dentition dentition indent oh, i don't understand english guys basically i was trying to make my cake look as good as possible anyways so the hole that's supposed to be in the middle of the zero i'm not going to be putting that the reason is because most times when i make cakes for my customers you can put that if you want all you have to do is trace out the hole with the with the template you made out of cardboard that's just the way you traced out the the, the zero you're going to also trace out the hole in the middle but i won't be doing that because i hate to cut out as much like i like to cut out as less cake as possible so my customers can have enough cake to eat because when you order a carved cake from from me even though you're paying for the part of the cake you you're paying for the entire cake including the part i carved out do you understand so i'm charging you for the entire cake including the part i carved out so i like to carve as little as possible yeah i like to get the shape i want but also bearing in mind to carve as little as possible so the customers can get enough cake yeah because they paid for a cake yeah okay so this cake is going to be covered in fondant and after i already crumb coated it with buttercream so i'm going to stretch out my fondant in the same like in the shape of the circle like you know the zero i made yeah it's kind of oblong like it has like tall tall bump uh, i don't understand english today guys i took the corona vaccine today i took pfizer so i kind of feel a little weird and this video is uh taking a lot of energy from me i didn't film this tutorial today i'm just doing the voiceover today does that make sense okay so this is taking a lot of energy from me <laughs> but i have to post because i have to post every day for you guys okay so i stretched out the fondant in the shape of the cake and now i'm covering my cake in fondant okay so in this video today i'm going to show you guys how to smoothen irregular sides of a cake with fondant without using your um smoothener because it's not all the time those smoothness this like smoothness we use can get in the corners you want to get so i'm going to show you how to do that today actually if you want to get rounded edges on your cake and you want it to be smooth and nice i'm going to show you guys the trick i use i think i've shown it in several of my videos but i'm going to show you guys again today in case you're not conversant with a lot of those of my videos okay so now what i'm basically doing is to smoothen and smoothen and smoothen as much as possible so you want to smoothen the sides and the top and then cut out the excess fondant around it okay so if you want to see my fondant recipe yeah i have a marshmallow fondant recipe which is awesome it is amazing i use that recipe for i've been using it for almost eight years now and that was because when i got to ukraine i didn't know where to get um fondant um, ingredients for you know glucose and glycerin and all of those like things for cake decorating so but i knew how to get icing sugar and i knew how to get marshmallows <laughs> so i kind of came up with my own fondant recipe and i've used it for eight years and it is amazing i've spent time refining it basically based on my needs and you know as my skills were improving anyway this 
video is not to you know praise myself and my fun dance you know prowess so okay if you want to see that just type in my search box go to my channel and type in the search box marshmallow fondant and you're going to see that it's amazing i have like i've heard several people that used it and really loved it so you should try okay so what i do is to take some fondant and then put it in the microwave for a few seconds so it can be warm and pliable and then rub it on some cornstarch and then start to rub it all around my cake basically it smoothens a lot better than when you use the plastic smoothener most cake decorators use i'm not even joking the plastic smoothness are good as well usually what i do is i first smoothen with those plastic smoothness and then i start to smoothen with this let me repeat myself take a piece of fondant pop in the microwave for a few seconds when it's warm it's just a little bit of warmth and then start rub it on some cornstarch and then start to rub it around your cake and your cake will come out smooth and silky like a baby's butt okay so this is my number zero um cake shape and all i have to do is just do the other decorations around it and when i was done with my cake this was my three and this was my zero it was such a pretty cake i don't know why this one is not moving because you guys see but it was really nice so i hope this video is useful to you and if it is please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel love you guys and i will see you in my future tutorials bye